Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Rebel Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about secure multi-party calculation or it is also called as secure multi-party communication in the subject of network security. Uh, so basically this secure multi-party uh, calculation is nothing but it is a case study okay so we have different case studies like secure multi-party uh, computation uh, we also have cross-site scripting vulnerabilities we also have single sign-on and so on so about each and every case study i'll explain in the i'll be explaining it in a single uh, video okay so in this video let us see what is secure multi-party calculation this is going to be very simple if you don't understand the theory part don't get panic i'll explain you with an example with a simple mathematical example which is going to be very very easy for you and uh, yeah let's get into the video and again uh, I have started a new channel with study abroad content I'll give the link of the channel in the description if you are interested have a look so let's get uh, into the video now when a data is distributed in a network it provides a pro it provides a protocol so that individual can see other parties data sorry this is so that no individual okay so that no individual can see other parties data simple see suppose we have a b c a is giving some data to a central uh, desk or to a central department and b is also giving some data c is also giving some data okay but this data what a is giving that only a has to know b and c should not know anything about the data and same applies to b as well only b has to know what the data it is submitting it could be anything it could be regarding their salary it could be regarding their age or um, uh, performance or whatever it is so and whatever data c is submitting that should not be known to the a and b okay this is this can be achieved with the help of the secure multi-party calculation okay so in general it enables data scientists and data analysis 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 sorry to compute the data privately without exposing the data outside that is they will be doing the calculations they'll be doing the computations on the data without actually knowing the data without actually exposing the data got it why because in order to uh, protect the security of the data okay for example uh, you want to calculate the salary of three employees okay but um, or if not you suppose there are three employees in the organization and they want to calculate their own salary so uh, we have three employees a b c and they three have discussed and they want to calculate their average salary but according to the office policies or terms and conditions they are not supposed to disclose their salary to their uh, other employees or so on okay then in that case how they can calculate the average of their salaries is what we are going to learn now okay so without this protocol they sh data should be revealed so if you are not using this secure multi-party calculation in that case what you have to do you need to reveal the data to the others but with the help of this protocol you need not reveal the data that how i'll tell you so functionally you can express it as f of abc is equal to average of abc okay so exposing the actual salary done so here first what we will do is if a salary is forty thousand rupees per month okay for example let us consider then Using additive sharing property, the 40,000 rupees is divided into three randomly generated pa parts. Okay, so 44 minus 11, 7 and these randomly generated parts can be positive, they can be negative and they can be zero as well. But when you add up all of them, they have to come to the original salary. 44 plus 7, how much? It is 51, right? Yeah, 51 minus 11, it's 40. So when you are adding up all these things, you are getting the original salary, which is 40,000. Okay. 40,000 is the original salary and A don't want to disclose that original salary. In that case, she is dividing those uh, that 40,000 into three parts, three randomly generated parts. Okay. And even B and C also will do the same process. Okay. They, B and C also will, uh, you know, divide their salary. Now what will happen? Let us see. Now what exactly happens is C, 44 minus 11, 7. These three are the parts given by A. B has also given minus 6, 32, 24. These three are the parts given by B. So minus 6, 32, 24, how much you'll get? 50. Okay. And next uh, C, 20, 0 and 40. How much you'll get? 60. As I said, the these parts can be negative or positive or they can be 0 as well. Okay. But at the end of the day, you have to get the original. So these are the original salaries. But these original salaries are actually not known. But for your understanding purpose, I'm telling you how the algorithm works. Okay. So then what happens is, all the three a b and c all the three what they will do is among the three parts they will keep one part with them and they will distribute the remaining two parts okay 
for example a has kept 44 with it and it has given minus 11 and 7 to the b and c same b also b kept 32 with it and gave minus 6 and 24 to a and c now c kept 40 with it and gave 20 and 0 to a and b now what that is the you know the general thing the general idea is one part among the three parts among the three parts one part is kept with the generator that is a person who has generated that part and the remaining two parts are distributed to the other two people if four people are participating then it is divided into four parts if five people are participating it is divided into five parts that's all simple okay so a it has 44 and b has given minus 6 and c has given 20 to it right so it will add all these things 44 plus 20 minus 6 it will do it will get 48 again same b has 32 with it and it has received minus 11 from a and it has received 0 from c so it will add again all these things it will get 20 uh, 21 is the sum again same the process for c also c kept 40 with it it got 7 from a and it got 24 from b adds all of that and it gets 71 now the these parts the sum is this is uh, you know revealed outside that is uh, a will say i got 58 as sum b will say i got 21 as sum c will say 20, i got 71 as sum okay now with these sums we will be calculating the total salary so what is 58 plus 21 plus uh, 71 you get 150 and how do you calculate average sum of quantities by number of quantities right sum of quantities is obviously 150 and how many quantities you have 1 2 3 so divided by 3 you get 50 okay so originally also 40 plus 50 plus 60 you get 150 again 150 by 3 what you get 50 so 50,000 is the average so 50,000 is the average salary for a and a b and c got it this is how you calculate the average salary now you got the average salary and also your requirement is fulfilled that the salaries should not be revealed uh, the other person should not know your salary so that is satisfied here done so this is how secured multi-party algorithm will work it is very simple uh, very interesting as well uh, so that's all for this video i'll speed up in the next coming video with uh, another topic if you are still having any doubts or if you want me to make any other videos just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to make it for sure and thanks for watching the video till the end